What's going on everyone? This is the Mac Roberts back again with another NBA 2K21 My Player Builder video. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the best Alex English build. Now, in the 80s, there were guys who could score in bunches, and then there were the 80s Denver Nuggets. Led by coach Doug Moe, Kiki Vandeweghe, Dan Issel, and Alex English, the Nuggets were a scoring machine that led the league in points for four straight years. They set the still standing record for most combined points scored in a game with the Detroit Pistons in a crazy triple overtime game that ended with the Nuggets scoring 186 points and the Pistons scoring 184. In the 82 season, English won a scoring title scoring 28.4 points per game. Who came in second? Kiki Bandaway and Dan Issel came in 12th. Unfortunately for the Nuggets, like many teams will learn in the future, like the Suns of the 2000s for instance, it doesn't matter how many points you score if your defense is terrible. And the Nuggets were terrible on defense. So terrible in fact that they were actually called the Enver Nuggets because they had no defense. But still, English finished his career as an 8-time All-Star, a member of 3 All-NBA teams, and he holds the distinction of scoring the most points in the 80s. More than Larry Bird, Adrian Dantley, George Gervin, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and the jump man. So, without further ado, let's get into the build. Position's gonna be small forward, hand in this doesn't matter, jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose two, because that's the number he wore when he was on the Nuggets. For the pie chart, we're going to go with the more green than blue pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're going to go with the balanced physical profile. Now for the attributes, you're gonna max out your close shot, bring your driving layup up to a 75 and max it out, Max out your driving dunk, max out your standing dunk, and bring your post look up to a 77. And that's going to give you 16 finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to max out your mid-range shot, bring your free throw up to a 90, and your post fade up to an 88. And that's going to give you 21 shooting badges. For playmaking, you're going to bring your pass accuracy up to a 74, and max out your ball handle and you're gonna get seven playmaking badges. Lastly, for defense and rebounding, you're gonna max out your interior defense, max out your perimeter defense, bring your lateral quickness up to the max, bring your offensive rebounding up to a 56, and you're gonna spend the rest on defensive rebounding. And you're not gonna get any additional defense and rebounding badges, but 16 finishing, 21 shooting, seven playmaking, and one defense and rebounding badge is a total of 45 badges. Body shape doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go with the fine. Height is gonna be 6'6". English was 6'7", but at 6'6", your ball handling is better, your pass accuracy is better, and your shooting is a little bit better as well. For the weight, you're gonna bring it up to 235 pounds. And for the wingspan, you're gonna bring it up to 83.4 inches. So at 99 overall, you're gonna have a close shot of 98, an 85 driving layup, an 80 driving dunk, a 77 standing dunk, and an 82 post hook. For your shooting stats, you have an 87 mid-range shot, a 94 free throw, and a 92 post fade. For your playmaking, you have an 80 pass accuracy and a 79 ball handle. And for your defense and rebounding, you're gonna have a 62 interior defense, a 79 perimeter defense, a 75 lateral quickness, a 59 offensive rebound, and a 64 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym rat badge are gonna be 83 for speed, 80 for acceleration, 86 for vertical, and 76 for strength. For the takeover, I would go with the shot creator takeover. Uh, you don't get the sharpshooter takeover because you don't have uh, three-point shooting, so the shot creator takeover makes the most sense. And the build is complete, and you have built a mid-range finisher, shades of Gordon Hayward, DeMar DeRozan, and Latrell Sprewell. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're gonna put Acrobat on gold, consistent finisher on silver, contact finisher on gold, pro touch on silver, relentless finisher on gold, and slithery finisher on gold. For your shooting badges, you're gonna put catch and shoot on gold, dead eye on hall of fame, difficult shots on hall of fame, green machine on gold, volume shooter on hall of fame, and tireless score on gold. For your playmaking badges, you're gonna put downhill on silver, space creator on gold, and quick first step on silver. And for your one defense and rebounding badge, you can actually put it on rebound chaser because he was actually a really good rebounder. 
All right, everyone, this has been the best Alex English build. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall, and you'll also be kept up with everything we do in the channel, so you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests, so if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for next gen. Uh, I'm not doing current gen so much anymore, but I'll do it for a quest. So if you have a current gen build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below as well to say, hey, I want this build for current gen, and I'll try to make that build up for you. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.